Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. A few months ago I was discussing the concept of a little bit racist with a friend on Facebook. And before long the conversation turned to indigenous people. And his discussion point started to incorporate common myths white people believe about indigenous people. Here are a few of his comments, for example. The handouts are what perpetuate the lazy Indian stereotype. Not my attitude that they should stop. We have taught them to put their hand out when in need, instead of solve the problem themselves. We should have used better methods in the past to help them come to understand the world around them. It falls on both parties to stand up and put things right. To someone who doesn't see their own racism, these statements may seem rational rather than racist. However, they are racist. These are common stereotypes about Indigenous people, and I'll explain why. Number one, Indigenous people are a drain on taxpayers. Everything Canada has is because they stole land from the people who were living here first. They slaughter the people who were already living here. As much as 95% of the Indigenous population of what is now Canada was wiped out. Those who survived faced violence, disease, starvation, imprisonment, and cultural genocide. They were forced onto small areas of land to adopt a lifestyle they had never lived, and their previous cultural activities were criminalized. They couldn't even leave reserves without permission from the state. Without the natural resources, minerals, forestry, fishing, oil and gas, farming, etc., that the First Nations had managed for millennia, the Canadian wouldn't exist as it is now. They wouldn't have been able to generate the wealth that they have now. That wealth has been built on the backs of Indigenous people, and they are owed more than they have received. White people have benefited from that wealth, from the deaths and oppression of Indigenous people. The money paid out to Indigenous people is money held in trust by the state. It is not taxpayer money. It is money generated by the resources that Indigenous people handed over via treaties. It's money owed to them. Money stolen from them. Number two, Indigenous people are lazy. Just need to work harder. Indigenous people work all the time. They solve their own problems all the time. But it often requires going off reserve, and on reserve solutions often require sacrificing particular rights. For example, if a reserve chooses to charge property taxes to its residents, it may affect the federal payments they receive. Number three, Indigenous people are unenlightened. Saying understand the world around them is saying that ignorance is inherent in indigeneity. The idea that Indigenous people aren't as enlightened as white people is completely racist. It's the height of conceit to consider your way of thinking and acquiring knowledge is the best and most correct way. The Indigenous ways of thinking and acquiring knowledge are no less valid. Number four, Indigenous people should tell us how to fix things. Indigenous people owe no one anything. They have no responsibility to stand up and put things right. All of this has been done to them by no fault of their own. They just wanted to exist as they had done for millennia before Europeans arrived. If things need to be put right, it's white people who must do it. Thanks for watching. If you agree with the points that I raise in this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please subscribe to my channel and share my video. Please follow me online at siever.ca slash Kim. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. I look forward to talking to you again soon.